here's a rather pathetic little tale. <laughs> I just spent the last three weekends, on and off, putting together five pieces of wood. One, two, three, four, five pieces of wood to make this little miniature chair out of walnut. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with the results. Uh, uh, let me show you some of the problems I had with this. Uh, it was all of these beveled angles where all of the legs meet, combining with the angles of the back and the seat itself. The reason why I made this chair is to enter a competition at the Marin County Fair, which is in July. And every year they have a chair building and a chair decorating competition. One of the categories is to make miniature chairs, anything under 12 inches. So I found this design in a uh, furniture book I picked up at the library on furniture design. And oh, let me show you a picture of this picture of the original chair, an actual chair that was made out of aluminum. So I really liked all the angles of that chair and just the utter simplicity of it. Little did I know that this would be one of the most complicated projects I've ever attempted. <laughs> when I started shooting this video, I became hesitant whether I really wanted to post this or not because it's really not a how-to video. I don't really expect anybody to make this particular chair. So I, I questioned myself about the value of really posting this thing. But I, I kind of figured out that really what this is about is more uh, about kind of the process that goes into building something that you've really never tried before. And so you, maybe you can kind of follow me along the way and see some of my reasoning and, and how it all worked out. I also want to thank everybody over at Lumberjocks uh, because I've been posting off and on uh, my progress on this. And I've gotten a lot of good advice from uh, Lumberjocks who have helped me out with this project along the way. So heads up to lumberjocks.com. If you're not a member, go to lumberjocks.com. I got paid for that ad. No, <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Lastly, I want to apologize up front for the quality of this video, the sound and the video, which is kind of jerky and spots. It's because my camera uh, is in Oklahoma this week. And so I'm using my son's old uh, RCA small wonder little flip camera, which is really antiquated, but you know, somewhat quaint, and it gets the job done. Let me take you back to last week and show you what I did to get started on this. And it was, I first thing I did was make this little cardboard prototype, of sort of the design that I wanted, and just taped it together. And that gave me a good indication of size and shape and kind of the angles that I was going to need with it. The next thing I did was I made a plywood prototype, uh, mainly so that I could get the size and to get these various bevels and angles in the right shape. Then, out of the blue, uh, Dave Owens over at Lumberjocks sent me an email and says, hey, I can do this on, uh, I did a little CAD drawing of this, and I'll shoot you over a PDF if you want to take a look at it. Well, here's his PDF, and it was so cool because I was able to take this, which was far more accurate than I was doing just haphazardly, and uh, take this into Illustrator and scale it up about 150%. So there's my chair. So, hey, Dave, thanks a bunch. Really appreciate that. I'm going to use that. And so today what I've done is I took my walnut lumber, uh, resawed it down, uh, planed it down a little bit, and then uh, discovered I have really nice-looking nice uh, book-matched pieces here. I really like this grain that's happening here. So I'm going to glue these up, and then I'll be able to put the chair... You know, basically right down that center, if I'm lucky, but we'll see how it goes. <laughs> and here's the finished piece, all glued up, and I'm really happy with this. Hope it works out. Because I'm a little unsure about how everything is going to fit together on this, I'm going to be making two at the same time. I'm going to be making one out of quarter-inch plywood, and then, of course, my quarter-inch walnut. Now this is where I start to get confused on this project, is the little bevels where everything meets up. So I'm going to start my project with the back of the chair and the seat of the chair. Uh, and before I get started on that, the first thing I did is I made another little plywood template and determined that this would be the seat and the back. And that this angle, of course I don't want it 90 degrees, I want it slightly back, is 100 degrees. All right, there's my 40 degree bevel for the back. 
Now I need to cut a 45 degree bevel on this, which will be the front leg, that triangle. But I'll do the bevel first, where it meets up with that bevel, and then cut out the triangle. So now I've got three pieces cut. I've got the back, the seat, and this will be the front leg. And here's the basic seat without the back legs. And because these angles are kind of complicated and it's such a small piece, uh, I'm just using super glue to glue it up. And it seems to be holding pretty well. You know, it's not going to take a whole lot of stress on a model of a chair. The hardest part that I'm having is with the two back legs, and this is one that really just didn't work out because I was just trying to fool around with different ways to cut this 20 degree angle. And of course there's bevels, 30 degree bevel going this direction and then the opposite direction on this side and then of course bevel going this way. So I came up with this little jig which has a 30 degree angle and then I've got my miter gauge set at about a 10 degree angle which will you know help me out with that 20 degree angle and I'm running some tests right now and I need to cut the angle part first and I've left this board really wide because I discovered that I need to cut this long side last and if I leave it wide that'll give me room that I can run this along the fence safely so I'm sure that made a whole lot of sense to you, <laughs> but I'm going to give it a shot anyway. Well, here's my two pieces, and here's the weird part, is I put them back to back, and of course I've got the bevels on this side, and as you go around, then I've got inside bevels here. And that was the part that was causing me trouble, is to get those bevels going opposite directions. <laughs> but I think I got it now. There's the chair all glued up, and I'm still not done because, uh, well, you can see my back legs didn't quite go up high enough. But that was okay because I thought, well, I'll just chop a little bit off of the top and angle it to where it uh, meets with the back legs. The problem that I have now is I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to run that cut on any of my saws given that how do I set this down I can't do it this way and ugh, just one thing after another <laughs> I kinda figured out that I can just set this on my disc sander and sand that down well something actually worked out in my favor uh, putting that on the disc sander really worked out well and it was just a huge time saver and this angle now all meets up with that angle and there it is the final chair all glued up and I put a few coats of lacquer all over it and I'm pretty happy with it I like the way that the grain turned down on it and uh, it's pretty cool looking little chair so I'll keep you guys posted and let you know in July how I did at the Marin County Fair in the miniature chair category